Uh, my name is Tom Montin. I'm a professor and chairman of the Department of Pathology at the University of Washington and have for uh, many years uh, collaborated with investigators here at Penn both in your Alzheimer's Center and in your Udall Center. What I intend to speak about is uh, uh, our vision for um, for approaching uh, both of these neurodegenerative diseases, Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's disease, today focusing mostly on uh, dementia. Uh, our vision is one that we encapsulate as precision medicine, uh, you know, the right treatment for the right person at the right time. And that's an aspirational goal and the the steps that I think we need to take to achieve that goal are to um, uh, clarify the molecular drivers of disease, uh, develop uh, sensitive and specific diagnostic tools that are useful as early as possible in the disease course, preferably preclinically, and then finally develop um, uh, therapeutics that are targeted to an individual's molecular drivers. I think it's the genetic work where we're, we're able to parse out which of the known uh, genetic risk factors correspond to, for Alzheimer's disease, correspond to which pathologic variable. So that's what I think that's very valuable information to have because it brings, although it doesn't prove cause and effect relationships, it brings greater clarity to what are the mechanisms that are being influenced by these different genetic factors. That's one. I think the other uh, major point I'll make is that um, uh, one genetic risk factor, a very well known one for Alzheimer's disease uh, around the ApoE locus. So ApoE is a pleiotrophic protein and its isoforms have activities that vary um, in a, in a, from a variety of perspectives. And our data points now to uh, not simply cholesterol transport or a beta transport, but regulation of a component of the immune response uh, is maybe uh, one of the mechanisms by which this particular genetic risk influences the expression of uh, dementia. I'm extraordinarily grateful for the invitation and the friendship and collaborations that I've had with uh, colleagues here at, at Penn, John, uh, Virginia, Jerry, Lisa, many others over you know almost 20 years. So I'm very grateful. Thank you.